This is the Thompson Cast. I am Mel Thompson. In 1908, it was much harder to get rich. The reason is simple. The global economy as we know it did not exist. In 2012, it is easier to make money than it was in 1962, or 1992, or even 2002. Again, this is because the ability to trade and do business on a global scale has become easier as technology has advanced. Easier means more substantial political risk when easier is combined with global trade. Sure, it is easier to make a financial transaction, invest globally, and purchase goods and services, but all of the tools of these activities are touched in some way by government regulation. Now, those of you who know me and listen to these podcasts know that I am a fan of reasonable regulation, particularly in the areas of health and safety. Where I have an issue is when regulations are unpredictable and increase the cost of doing business with no social or commercial benefit. How nations and their governments impede global trade is at the supply chain level. Import and export regulations that are not enforced or those that appear without notice to lay the final product at the other end. In a global economy, the product that says made in America may have rubber parts that were manufactured in Gary, Indiana, but the actual rubber plant that produced the part is in Ghana. If there is a problem in Ghana, such as a disruption in the supply chain due to civil unrest, trade restrictions, or new unpublished regulations, then the end product will cost more. What raises the cost is doing is going to other suppliers, such as other rubber suppliers, possibly not in Ghana, that the plant in Gary, Indiana would have to seek out if there was a disruption in the supply chain. The other suppliers, before the plant in Gary, Indi Gary Indiana even approaches them, already knows that A, the plant in Gary, Indiana is coming to them, and B, they know why, so therefore, they're going to capitalize on the opportunity and raise their costs. If there is a disruption in the supply chain due to unpublished regulations, this also can cause a problem when you go to enter a market, re-enter a market, or conduct business in a market, and all of a sudden, you have to spend the time to research new regulations and rules, or perhaps even pay more in fees to conduct business in the market. When, when things are not predictable, it has a direct correlation to the cost of doing business rising. When these unpredictable regulations are the product of political pressure from within a country, then almost without question, they appear without any notice. These are the types of political risks that will impact in a negative way the supply chain and, of course, delay the product at the other end as well as raise the costs. Mitigating against these types of political risks requires constant monitoring of supply chain sources. I would argue that foreign direct investment can be substantially more profitable for those who monitor and understand supply chains than those who do not even bother to notice. Out of the blue may appear, may appear a disruption in a foreign business venture or debt repayment due to a problem along the supply chain. From electricity to eggs, there is a supply chain. And if you're involved as a foreign direct investor or just a person looking for a new car, you may want to learn more about the impact of political risks on supply chains. This has been the Thompson Cast. I am Mel Thompson.